My name is Rufus. I'm a notary public in Los Angeles, California. I also process a lot of apostilles. I process a lot of apostilles for the Philippines. Why would you need an apostille for the Philippines? Let me explain to you what the scenario typically is. You're from the Philippines or your family originated from the Philippines. You probably have real estate property in the Philippines and you're looking to sell that real estate. If the real estate property is under your name, you don't want to fly to the Philippines to sell that property. So you're going to do a special power of attorney form giving permission for someone else to act on your behalf as far as signing documents for the sale of that property. To do that, you're gonna get a special power of attorney form. You need to get that signed and notarized by a notary public here in California. Once you have that special power of attorney form, you sign it and it's notarized by that notary public, you want to use that special power of attorney form in the Philippines. The Philippines is gonna tell you you cannot use the special power of attorney form until you get it apostilled. What does that mean? That means you need to take that special power of attorney form that you signed and had notarized to the Secretary of State in California, and they're gonna put another stamp next to that notary stamp to basically double authenticate that special power of attorney form. At that point, the Philippines will allow you to use that special power attorney form in the Philippines. Again, my name is Rufus. I'm a notary dude here in Los Angeles, California. If you are looking to get a special power of attorney form notarized and apostilled in California, you need to call me. My phone number and information is below. You can go and look at my Google business profile and look at my reviews and see the work that I've done. To do this, this is what we're going to need. First, you're gonna to have to get a special power of attorney form written up. You can go through a lawyer to do this, or you can do it on your own. Once you have that special power of attorney form, you know, written up, you need to have a, you need to sign it, and you need to get a hold of a notary public to witness you signing that document. Valid ID for the same name that is on that document. At that point, the notary is going to put their notarized stamp on that document. From there, you're gonna to have to take that notarized special power of attorney form to the Secretary of State to do it. They're gonna put a stamp on that special power of attorney form notarized portion that is going to allow the Philippines to use it in their foreign country. I got good news for you. I've done a lot of these and I'm extremely good at it and I can help you get it done. So again, my contact number is below. All I need is for you to call me and we need to set up an appointment where we can get that special power, form, uh, special power form notarized that I can handle the entire apostille process for you. How long does it take? Well, I'm in downtown LA and I happen to be right close to Secretary of State. So I can get this notarized and apostilled for you in just a couple of days. What's it going to cost? I charge about $180 to $200 to do it. Now, if there's shipping involved with shipping the document back and forth, that is gonna be extra. The most important thing is this, listen to me. It has to be done correctly. It has to be notarized correctly, and the apostille needs to be processed correctly before the Philippines is going to accept it. So, phone numbers below, my name is Rufus. Call me anytime, shoot me a message if it's easier and we can get this set up so I can go ahead and get your power of attorney form for the Philippines, both notarized and apostilled.